Why do most people not like the BMW i8, despite it being a supercar and with a low price? Well, I wouldn't say most people dislike the BMW i8, but it certainly didn't become the poster car for the supercar dream, and there are a couple of reasons for that. For starters, the i8 is an ambitious car, a sort of herald of future supercars, as it tries to blend performance with sustainability. It's a plug-in hybrid with an electric motor and a three-cylinder turbocharged engine. This car was BMW's statement that you can have your cake and eat it too, a supercar that's eco-friendly. But, and here's the kicker, supercar enthusiasts often have an appetite for a particular type of cake, raw horsepower and a roaring engine, the kind that vibrates your ribcage and sets off car alarms as you drive by. The i8's modest horsepower and lack of a visceral engine sound just don't scratch that itch for a lot of gearheads. Then we've got the looks, which are futuristic, which I think are a coin toss. You can take it to any car show in Portland, Oregon, and you will divide the crowd. Half will gawk at the space-age design, the gullwing doors, and how it looks like it's been teleported from 2030. The other half will frown, cross their arms, and tell you it's trying too hard. And this brings us to the price point. The i8 is indeed less expensive compared to some of its supercar counterparts. However, for those who are shelling out for a supercar, the price isn't always the main obstacle. It's the performance and prestige. The i8 sits in a strange niche where it doesn't offer the same punch as others in the price range, but comes with a premium badge. All that said, the i8 is a trailblazer in many ways, challenging the status quo of what a supercar can be. It might not tick all the boxes for every enthusiast, but it certainly found its audience. And hey, it's a conversation starter, that's for sure. Enjoy the dialogue because in the world of cars, having an opinion gets you half the fun.